Kilo one, X-ray four, America, America. Kilowatt X-ray four, America, America. Is that a Roger? That is correct, sir. Oh, I, well, got to be right sometimes. <laughs> I can hear you very well, sir. You're doing me about a 10 over, Roger, and my local antenna. Okay, uh, well, you're 20 over S9 here in Alabama. Your name is Bob Bravo Oscar Bravo. Yes, sir, Bob. And uh, what radio are you running today, sir? I'm running the uh, ICOM uh, 7... Uh, well, what am I running? The ICOM 7410. Uh, I've got two or three here. ICOM 7410 today and uh, the uh, Dentron 2500 amplifier. Uh, Roger, so you're running, what, uh, about uh, 600 watts or so? No, that's correct, about 700 watts. Roger, well, it's doing you a fine job. I'm copying you on my local antenna, my local dipole, at uh, probably about uh, 10 over, Roger. Okay, thank you, sir. Where did you say you was located? Uh, we're next door to Louisville, Kentucky. We're on the uh, Indiana side of the Ohio River, right at uh, Louisville. Roger. Okay, sir, and I'll get your call on the next over and let you uh, move on to the next one because I knew there were several in there calling, and uh, I would guess uh, I was one of the lucky ones. Uh, back to you, sir. Kilo X-ray for Alpha. Roger, Roger, Bob. Well, your radio sounds just excellent. You have nice EQ, very intelligible, and uh, your uh, dynamic range is running about uh, two and a half to three dB. Again, uh, optimal for exactly uh, you know the right uh, dynamic range, uh, the right fatness. Uh, so you're doing real well with that radio. Now you said you had a uh, two or three radios. Were they are they all 7410s or what other radios do you have? Uh, no, sir. I've got the uh, Yaesu, uh uh, 1000 MP Mark 5 and then uh, I've got the uh, ICOM 751 and I was confused which one I was on but uh, that and I've got about four amplifiers but the antenna the antenna is a full way loop up about 35 feet and uh, it's I guess uh, probably oriented more in your direction than anything uh, loop supposed to be straight up but I've done a special Special deal on this one on the in, internal inside. I, I mounted uh, two vertical, uh, two vertical NVs right in the middle that is not fed. They're parasitic elements, so I got uh, a little bit of vertical uh, radiation going in your way over the North Pole. Over. Oh, Roger, Roger. Now you uh, you're talking about uh, uh, vertical polarization. Do you think you're more polarized vertically or horizontally? Uh, probably horizontal because I'm feeding it that way, but uh, the Christmas tree looking apparatus in the middle is, consists of two half wave dipoles, uh, each leg running north and south and east and west respectively. They're parasitic elements mounted right in the middle of this uh, horizontal loop, and uh, I've worked New Zealand and uh, Australia on 40, so it's doing pretty good. Roger. Now, do you have uh, any other f uh, phase angles that you can uh, come up with or, or for, as far as steering the, uh, the directionality of the signal? Uh, no. It, uh, they're uh, parasitic elements. I cannot change anything. It's direct, it's direct fed. Uh, well, it's, it's fed with a quarter wavelength of 75 ohm uh, at this frequency. And, um, oh, I don't know, it's uh, 35 feet high. But, uh, oh, I don't know, it's uh, 35 feet high. But, uh, I've been a ham since 1980 and uh, experimented. Oh, Roger that. Well, uh, just out of curiosity, do you know uh, what the length of your basic uh, loop is? Uh, yes, sir, it's 285 feet. Roger that. And uh, how many uh, bands can you work on that? I'm assuming that you're running through an antenna tuner, Roger. Uh, no, sir, this band is direct fed, but I can run a tuner and run anything from 10 through 80 with it. All righty, all righty. And, and just out of curiosity, what is the uh, uh, residual SWR on uh, this band? Uh, right now, it's a 1.5 to 1. Over. Roger, close enough. Good job, good job. Sounds really beautiful. It's best, Like I say, best signal I've heard today, Roger. Uh, the plans come out of, uh, let's see, 1984 
Uh, Roger that. Roger that. Well, it's, it's doing you a great job. I appreciate you uh, checking in. Like I say, your radio is just sounding, sounding beautiful. Uh, and I know you're in Louisville, but I need to get your call again, please. Oh, Roger. Call here is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. Name is Jim Juliet India Mike. And this is the uh, Friday Afternoon Kiso Vlog Network, Roger. Jim, easy enough, uh, and I got it all down. Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. Thank you very much, sir. And I'll uh, move on and let somebody else take over. This is Kilo X-Ray for America, America, and Alabama. Roger, Roger, three, sir. Thanks for dropping by. Appreciate the, uh, the call there. And if you get a chance, uh, drop back by uh, next Friday. We uh, run every Friday afternoon between uh, 3.30 and 5 and record uh, all the way and then uh, post it up on YouTube. So if you would like to hear your station, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, that will take you to our Kiso Vlog page. And on that page, uh, we're featuring now about 1,100 and uh, and. Uh, 60 uh, some odd uh, QSO vlog recordings, but you'll be looking for one in particular, and it will be called My Group Air Check 61920. My Group Air Check 61920, which is today's date. So uh, we'll say uh, threes, Bob, and you have a good afternoon, and uh, uh, if you get a chance to uh, join us next Friday. This is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO vlog network. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.